I just want to thank the witnesses for your time here today. This is a very important hearing and as you hear there is bipartisan support for this initiative because it really is just that basic. We have to prepare our workforce for the future of you know the next generation of jobs and there are so many young people, people changing careers, people who have life experiences that can be transferred into the workplace. College is not for everyone for a variety of different reasons whether it be the costs, the location, transportation, childcare, there are lots of different barriers, but it doesn't mean that people can't still find success. I think that it is very important that we look to ways that we can get more people into the workforce, not less. Um, our, the Biden administration has talked a lot about Made in America, bringing jobs back home, getting people back to work, and this is one of those initiatives and ways that we can do that. I would just finally like to close by saying we have to, I guess, I, I echo the, the comments of Ranking Member Scott when he emphasized that it is past time that this committee passes a fully funded reauthorization of WIOA that relies on evidence-based practices and better engages employers in our workforce development system. Um, I think we're all asking for the same thing. We just have to work really hard to make sure that we are reaching the people who are never touched by these programs uh, digging deep into the most vulnerable and marginalized communities, making sure that employers um, are working cooperatively with with um, with the recommendations, the system, if they're going to access any type of federal funding. Um, and the way we get to that, I think, can be achieved through hearings just like this. So again, I thank you for your time and your participation. And with that, I yield back. Thank you so much. Um, I guess a couple of things. I, I too wish Dr. Fox was here, but I wanted to share uh, Mr. Bowman's uh, enthusiasm and excitement about uh, where we are at this point. Um, uh, Dr. Dupre, you, you, you mentioned, uh, I was going to say inflection point. You said it best, moonshot moment. Was that? Was it? Very good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Another reason for you to stay around. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. No, that, that's exactly, when you think about where we are today, we have the industries, we have the legislation, and we have American parents all focused on one thing, not only preparing our kids, but listening to them, and then giving them options to really go out and do what we have to do. Uh, this, I think, you're talking about national security. This, you cannot say something more important than, first of all, educating our children and giving them a chance to go out and build the American dream, and that's where we are right now. So it was something Thomas Jefferson said, ignorant and free can never be. Our freedom comes from ability to dream big, Go out there and pursue our, pursue what we want to do in, in life. Feel that this is meaning something, and um, and then giving back. So uh, I'm going to say the biggest ask we have as a committee. We're at a point now where we truly do need to hear from innovators. Uh, we want to be innovative in terms of how we legislate, and that's why we had the questions we had today. With, we want to think outside the box. How can we get all these millions of young people and old? To, to be in a position where they can pursue what they really believe is important and really fall in love again with the opportunities we, can, we have in this country. So if my big ask would be, please be, pro be proactive. Please let us know what it is that, that, you, that we can do to kind of give you a runway so we can go out and, and actually build something and do legislate something that gives you the freedom to, to make that happen. So I want to thank you again. Uh, this has been a remarkable um, uh, hearing. Uh, and again, we all share the same concepts. We just want to make sure we, we make sure our kids are in, in good shape. So thank you for that. And I would like to, uh, again, thank the witness for taking the time to testify before the uh, committee today. Without objections, uh, there being no further business, the committee stands adjourned. Thank you so much.